everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another clothing haul i'm so excited as always to haul my favorite online clothing boutique ever princess holly i am very very excited because i was able to get my hands on some really beautiful new releases of the winter basics and winter collection um, for us Aussie gals, it is winter at the moment, except I live in Queensland, Brisbane in Queensland, which I would like to probably say is, has the best weather in all of Australia, if I do say so myself. And yeah, lately the weather has been so amazing that I've only needed like, like I've just worn like shorts and a t-shirt or like jeans and a little top and then like a jacket in the morning and then by the end of the day you're like way too hot to even wear like winter warm stuff so yeah I got some nice going out pieces as well that can be used for winter nights because as well in Queensland our restrictions are almost it's not back to normal but you can pretty much do everything um that we've always been able to do if that makes sense like you can do everything it's just when you do certain things they're different so like you can go out clubbing now you can go to bars you can go to restaurants it's just different and there is restrictions but you can still go and do those things if that makes sense that was a really bad explanation but basically i wanted some going out pieces i wanted some sort of warm things but not too warm because i am in the warmest part of the world almost <laughs> during winter not really but you know it's so beautiful weather so that's the kind of things that I chose today and I have a new discount code for Princess Polly which is LEK20 so just LE the letter K and then 20 for 20% off store wide and of course they always have free shipping when you spend over $50 which is amazing so I think that's everything I really wanted to keep this short and sweet because I honestly the last couple of hauls I watched back and I'm like wow you talk so much, Ellie. Like, just get into showing the pieces. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm already wearing my first outfit from this haul because I just want to jump straight into it. So, let's go. This first jumper, I've actually already worn this outfit that I'm wearing. You can't really see my bottom half at the moment, but I'll start with the jumper. So, this is, I'm pretty sure from memory, it's called the Inner Bloom Knit. Please don't rely on me remembering the names for everything <laughs> off the top of my head, but I remember this one because, I don't know, Bloom sort of reminded me of like the billowy sleeves, I guess you could say. So yeah, this is a really cute knit. It's a beautiful beige color. This is like my favorite color to wear almost, especially when I'm tan. When I'm not tan, it kind of blends into my skin. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the big balloon sleeves I guess you could say I guess that's why it reminds me of the word bloom but yeah it's got a fairly high neck which is amazing and it's like a nice knit it's not itchy but it's not too thick and fluffy if that makes sense like it's quite you know loose and flowy so it's perfect for our winter at the moment I would say though I chose a size small slash medium because it was one of those knits where it's either small to medium or medium to large it wasn't like in 8 10 12 that kind of thing so I chose a small to medium but as you can see it's quite short on my arms and it probably like it fits my neck fine it's easy to get on but I probably could have gone up a size just for like the length of the sleeves and just to have it like even more like billowy I guess you could say but it still looks great I just would say if you prefer it to be like oversized or really flowy and that kind of thing i'd actually go up a size so yeah i think i could have fit into a medium slash large in that one okay i moved the camera just a little bit so you can see the bottom half of this outfit um this outfit is actually one i copied directly from the model i think in the photos for the knit the model was wearing this outfit with like white socks and chunky beige sort of white colored sneakers and it looked so cool so I wanted to copy her and yeah I got this knit skirt I actually realized I didn't get the exact skirt that she was wearing but I actually love love the one that I got so it's also a knit material but it does have like a layer of like lining underneath so the knit's like not directly on your skin if that makes sense and it's a really really beautiful stretchy skirt Got that little slit there which I love it has a zip at the back there to do up and down obviously 
and I got a size, what size did I get? I got a size 8 in this one. Usually I'm very, I honestly am not really much of a skirt gal to be honest, but I didn't know what size to go because just in bottoms in general, I never know if I'm an 8 or a 10, same with dresses and stuff like that. But the reviews, as I always say, was so incredibly helpful because a lot of girls said it's really, really stretchy, fits to your body really nicely. A lot of curvy girls were saying it fits their curves really nicely. Some people even like put photos of them in it, which was so helpful. Um, so yeah, I went for a size 8 and I'm really happy I did. You can see it's a really good length. I was scared as well if I got an 8 it would be too short, but it covers my bum with plenty of room and it's just the perfect little mini skirt and I'm so glad. I actually wore this outfit on the weekend. I can't remember if I said that already, but I wore this outfit because the clubs and bars opened for the first time with the weekend just gone and I wore it and it was perfect. I wore like a little crop top underneath because when I got really hot dancing, I could take off my knit and just tie it around my bag. But yeah, this skirt was perfect and obviously it's an outfit that looks good with sneakers so I could be really comfortable I didn't have to wear heels and it was perfect I absolutely loved it and I was very comfortable so that is my first outfit okay and the next piece I got I am absolutely obsessed with and I'm so glad I finally have one it's obviously this big fluffy jacket and it's not to be confused with the original teddy coats which are slightly different to this one I can't really explain how. I'm pretty sure the collar is different. I don't own a teddy jacket. I own this one, obviously, which kind of, I don't know. I just think the fluffiness of it is like a lot nicer and it's a lot softer. And it has, what's another difference? It has the, like, it has little drawstring thingies here, which obviously you can use. I just leave them as they are, but obviously you can zip it up like so, which still looks really cute. I hate when jumpers, like, they look good when they're open, but then as soon as you zip it up because you're actually cold, they don't look good. But this looks great. Like, I love it. And you can, like, do it like that or all the way up if you're really cold and it still doesn't even look that bad. But, yeah, this is amazing. I wore this the other day and it honestly got hot because it's really warm. And in Brisbane, yeah, it was the middle of the day and I was walking in the sun and it was, like, 22 degrees or something. But, yeah, it kept me very warm. It's got lining on the inside which keeps you warm and I'm just so glad I own one of these. I can't, I'll pop, even pop in a photo of what a teddy jacket is versus this one and I love the colour of this as well. It's literally the same colour as that knit. But yeah, it's just such a good staple. It looks so good with blue jeans, black jeans, even dresses, even like nice dresses. Like if it's really cold and I was like going out for a night, this would be perfect to chuck over the top of anything like it just fits so nicely over everything. Oh, speaking of fit, I got a size small. So this must have come in like small, medium, larges. I got a size small and it's a really, really nice fit. And I'm so, so happy to have one in my wardrobe because it's just so cute and soft. I love it. Okay, I thought I'd just keep going on the topic of like outerwear while I still have the knit skirt on and a little top. I just put on my little um, El Basico tee, it's called by the way. This is from Princess Polly as well. You'll remember it from a previous haul. But yeah, it's just their basics range. I don't think they'll ever stop selling it. It's always on the website if you need to pick one up. It's a very good basic. But anyway, this is the next piece. It is a little Cardi and I actually wore this the other day as well. <laughs> I've literally worn almost everything in this because it's just been, the pieces have just been the perfect like clothes for like the weather and like my fashion at the moment I guess you could say so this is a little cardigan I'm very happy because I don't own like a nice cardigan where you can button it up or unbutton it which is obviously like the whole point of a cardigan and I chose this one because I love the sleeve everything about the sleeves <laughs> like I love the thickness the length the width it's not skin tight so I really wanted one that wasn't skin tight so that I could still wear a long sleeve top underneath it. Because you know when if you're wearing a long sleeve top and then you pull a jacket over it and it's like too tight and it gets like stuck and all caught up? I really don't like that. So I've got one that isn't like tight around your wrist so that if I wanted to wear a long sleeve underneath I could. And this one also looks super cute. It comes button up, buttoned up. <laughs> but I unbuttoned it and then I'd like to put in... 
It's also very delicate, by the way. Like, it's a really, really soft knit. So if you have acrylics like me, just be really careful when you're using the buttons because they're obviously sewn straight into the knit material and they're very delicate. But you can button it and unbutton it. And what I love to do, so when I wore this the other day, I wore a white bodysuit that came like really low cut here with blue jeans and then this cardi because it looks so cute just like off the shoulder like that. And then obviously if you don't have, like if you have a top that um, leaves your chest bare, it looks really good. So that's how I like to wear that one because obviously you can do up as many buttons as you like. When I wear it like that, I like to do up two. I actually think I filmed a TikTok wearing this outfit that I'm trying to explain. So I might insert like a screenshot of that because I really liked it. But yeah, I love, say if you just wear a low cut top or a little spaghetti strap top underneath, it just like sits really nicely and like shows off a little bit of shoulder and a bit of chest and it still keeps you warm and it's really nice. I just, it's so cute. I feel like a little cardi is a must have now and I love it. It's perfect color. As you can tell, I really like this color. <laughs> so I think that's all of my outerwear pieces. Oh, I did get, I got the next piece is, a, oh, also oh, this looks really cute like this. Like if you just wear it on your arms. I love that. Anyway, the next piece is a long sleeve top and I got it to match one of the skirts that I already have. So I'm going to show you that in a new outfit, I think. Okay, I lied. I'm actually going to show you a pair of pants because I think they'll look good with the top that I'm still wearing. I'm sorry if you can hear someone mowing their lawn, by the way. I don't know. Surely they're not mowing their lawn. It's raining right now. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, it sounds like that. But <laughs> I got some pants, which I'm so excited about. I'll move the camera down now that I've said my two cents so I can show you them full length because they are so, so cool. So... Can you see me? Yeah. There we go. These are the pants I got. They're filet pants. And they're like a really cool toned brown sort of colour. I feel like all the jumpers I just showed you were more of a cream beige. Whereas this is like a brown. Like a cool toned brown. And I'm so obsessed with these. I just tried these on for the first time because I haven't worn these yet. And I'm so happy. I found it really useful to read the models measurements for these because as you guys probably know I'm quite a tall gal and obviously they're meant to be quite full length well fitted pants so I checked like the model size and the model's height and I went with the size 8 and they fit so so well because they're just a really nice stretchy material and the waistband is a nice elastic and they don't have that baggy bit of fabric there like they just fit everywhere so nicely i'm so obsessed i love them and then obviously they've got the flare at the bottom if you can see that yes oh my god i feel like to dress this up this outfit would look so cool with white boots so you can see like the little point in the heel at the bottom or for a more casual daytime just like my chunky white sneakers and then maybe i don't know what kind of jacket i feel like anything would go with this even like a leather jacket maybe or like corduroy or something like that I don't know it's usually not the style that I cho would choose but I love them I really I find it hard to find pants other than jeans <laughs> to wear in winter that like break it up a bit because I don't know like jeans to me I like wear them when I go to the shops or whatever but I find it hard to like dress them up like skinny jeans yeah sometimes I'll wear them like and like dress it up and wear them somewhere nice but yeah, I really, I like wearing pants that aren't jeans just to mix it up, you know? I'm so happy I found these. This would, oh, they're so versatile and they're so comfy. Oh my God, they are so comfy. 10 out of 10 would recommend these bad boys. They are amazing. I love them. Okay, now I'll show you the little long sleeve top that I got. And wow, now that I'm seeing myself in it, like in the camera, I think this looks so like classy and sleek. I love it. So as you can see, I've just popped on the leopard skirt that I got in my last haul. So obviously I won't show you that in much detail, but it's like a leopard midi skirt. And I didn't have any like nice dressy black tops for winter. I have one long sleeve that's a turtleneck, which is good for layering, but 
I didn't have like a nice dressy one like I feel like you can't wear a turtleneck on its own and like look really fancy like I, I like to use it for layering like under t-shirts or a denim jacket or something like that so yeah I got this piece and I'm so so in love with it I just think this crossover cut is so beautiful with the high-waisted skirt so it's actually hard to see because it's obviously dark colors oh there we go you can see it's actually a wrap so there's one piece there that wraps across and then the other piece crosses and wraps underneath so it's like all sewn together like you don't actually have to wrap it yourself but it's like two pieces that cross over and then sit just under the brow line there at the front and then it's a bit longer at the back which is stunning it's super super tight on the arms which I actually love I just think that looks I don't know it just makes you look so like sleek and nice I think but yeah I'm really really glad I got this top in a size 10 um, like I said, I literally always struggle to know whether I'm an 8 or a 10 because I'm very much in between. Just depends on the material, the fit, sizing, all that kind of stuff. So this one I read the reviews and I just remembered from past experiences that I always, when a top is meant to be tight fitted and cropped, I always choose an 8 because I'm like, yeah, it'll be, it'll just be like really tight and it'll fit really good. But I really need a 10 <laughs> nowadays. My upper body is bigger than I think it is. And when it's tight, it's hard to get on if it doesn't fit well. So I got a 10 and it's really, really tight as you can see, but super flattering and honestly the perfect size. So if you're unsure about sizes, I would go the bigger size for this top. Unless maybe you're like, don't have much in the chest area, then maybe it might be like a bit gapy and you could go a size down. But yeah, it's really tight on the arms. So keep that in mind if you don't like tight arm things definitely go size up but yeah I'm so so happy with this piece it's such a good little nice dressy staple to have but still quite basic and sophisticated <laughs> okay so my last two clothing pieces are dresses they are both long sleeve winter dresses and I cannot get over how stunning this one is this one I wasn't actually sure if it would be me I guess I don't know I don't know why because I love the color and the fit and everything I think that's just because I've never owned anything like this like it looks very classy and very like I don't know I've never owned any like long sleeve tight dresses like this I don't think I don't know I don't know why I was unsure about it but now that I'm wearing it I'm even more obsessed with it and I wasn't sure I think it's because I wasn't sure about the color on the website it looks like quite a like it's like a movie brownie tan color it's, I feel like it's got an undertone of like a purpley pink but it's definitely more of like a tan brown if that makes sense <laughs> I don't know if that does make sense it's similar to the color of the pants I think yeah so the pants are a real brown whereas this has just got like a little bit of a pink tinge to it but it's still tan I think that's the best way to explain it but yeah wow this is amazing this is so amazing I love it it's called the Gwent mini dress it's called pink I think that's what threw me off actually because it's more of a tan brown color just so you know but yeah this one I'll show you in detail the boob area has a seam straight across here where the boob bit the ruching and like the gathered fabric goes that way and then on the body part the like ruched fabric goes across ways which is so so flattering and it's obviously like the perfect direction <laughs> to accentuate everything and the sleeves are literally just the most beautiful lightweight mesh material it's exactly the same material as what's on this but obviously underneath there's another layer of like lining which you can see there but then just on the sleeves it's just the mesh I can't remember if the girl on the website wore it off the shoulder or on the shoulder but you can do either and I'm not sure which one I prefer yet I think I quite oh that actually looks really nice but I think I prefer it on the shoulder just because I quite like the neckline like the square neckline that's like kind of popular at the moment and that sort of gives it that but it does do that when you put your arms up I don't know if anyone cares about that but yeah, it's a perfect length. I got a size 10, which I'm really glad I did in dresses most of the time now. I do make sure I get a 10, especially if it's tight fitted, because obviously the sleeves would be a bit too tight if I got an 8. And it would probably be too short if I got an 8, but this is perfect length. As you can see with my fingers, it sits just there, pretty much mid-thigh on me. And it is so stunning. 
I'm obsessed. Princess Polly, you've nailed it. This is, it's so comfortable and like I'll look so nice when I go out in winter and I won't be cold. Okay, I thought I'd show you this dress while I'm still kind of putting it on because it looks very funny when you first get it and put it on. But it's one of those dresses where you grab, it. I'm going to show you. You grab the little dangly bits and then you pull it. It's a knit dress and you just like ruche it up yourself. So then in the middle, it sort of tapers in and bunches up and makes you look very like cinched in in the center. I'll just check that that's not too short. No, that's perfect. Oh, I actually love, yeah, making the bunch quite big in between your boobs. That's very flattering. And then you just... Bunch it up as high as you like, and then tie it in a little bow at the bottom. I think you tie it in a bow. I hope that doesn't look stupid. I'm sure you do. And then, yeah. Yes, that looks so cute. So it's another off the shoulder kind of style. But I think obviously you can sort of choose how you wear it. Like you can sit it there, you can pull it further off so the sleeves are a bit longer. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, it's actually really good. The design of this, this part, this seam that goes across your shoulders isn't stretchy. Like it's not elastic. So it's, once you pull it off your shoulders, it stays there. It doesn't like stretch or move too much, which is good. Obviously when you put your arms up, it's going to come up, but I quite like it. I like it like this as well, actually. It obviously just makes the sleeves a bit shorter if you pull it up, but if you pull it down, here's the detail on the sleeves. I love that little little added detail it's like the same material as the ribbed material here and then the sleeves come out just a little bit wider which I think is nice but they're not too long so like say if you were eating or something your sleeves aren't gonna like fall in your food or whatever I don't know I feel like this would be a really beautiful dress to wear like out to a nice restaurant or something in winter it's so nice this one I got a size small slash medium because I feel like in a lot of their knit pieces they just do small slash medium and medium slash large so I'm super happy with how this fits and as you guys know I'm about a size 10 so the small to medium fits really nicely this part is like a little short in the middle here so I might just need to like not tie it up quite as high but yeah just there's like a little short but it comes down heaps longer at the back so I'm really happy with like how much it covers there I could easily bend over nothing would show Again, very, very comfortable. Oh, I'm going to put on the necklace that I got. I'm so excited. I'm being so trendy. So, I got one of those chunky gold chains that has, like, I don't even know what this is called, but it's like a, it's like a T-bar almost that just goes through the circles. So you put it on and then just pop the little bar through the circle and then... It just stops there and it doesn't come out like that and it's got a locket which is so beautiful I actually haven't tried this on with this dress so I don't know yeah I feel like it works I've tried it on with um, the cream cardigan because as I said I like to wear that like off the shoulder show a lot of like chest in this one so it looks really beautiful the gold and the cream but this still works as well I quite like that. I just obviously need to put in gold earrings <laughs> instead of silver. But yeah, this is a beautiful necklace. It's quite short, but it feels really, really good quality. And it's such a beautiful shiny gold. So I love that. And this is the dress up close. Yeah. I love that. I'm so happy. Absolutely stoked. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of, I think, my favourite winter clothing haul ever. That was so incredibly successful. I want to call this, I feel like the title of this will be like, I don't know, like ultimate neutrals winter haul. Like obviously, <laughs> I'm such a neutrals gal. I literally got no colour. How boring of me. I'm sorry. But it's just so good. Like everything goes with everything when you get neutral colours. And I, oh, everything, I finally just absolutely nailed the sizes that I choose. Everything fits so incredibly well. And the make and the quality of everything is literally divine. Like all of these pieces are going to be the best to carry me through like many, many, many winters to come. And I'm so happy about it. So thank you so much to Princess Polly. They are 
the best clothing boutique ever. They're actually based on the Gold Coast, little fun fact that I like to throw in. So if you live in Brisbane, their shipping is literally almost instant. Like if you order in the morning, you'll get it that afternoon or the next day. It's so good. So highly recommend. And you get 20% off with my code LEK20 and that will be valid for the whole month, I believe. So make sure you keep, up, keep an eye out on my Instagram because I'm definitely, half of this I've already worn and the other half I just cannot wait to wear. I think when I go out in two weekends time, I might wear this little pinky tan dress. It just feels like, I don't know, I feel like in this one because it's a knit, I'd get really hot. If I were to go out like dancing or at a bar in this, this is be. I feel like this is more of a restaurant, like sitting down, sophisticated, like a nice like Italian or something. It's probably not smart to wear white to an Italian restaurant, but whereas this dress I could totally wear like out dancing because the mesh is quite cool, even though it's long sleeve. So that's my thoughts. But anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you loved everything that I've hit just as much as I did. And please send me on Instagram DM. My Instagram is Ellie Kate with two underscores at the end. Send me if you make any orders. I'd love to see what you got because they are bringing out new winter stuff all the time and it's all amazing. So thank you so much for watching and thank you to Princess Polly again. I'll see you guys much sooner than you think in another video very soon. Bye.